Yeah, at this point, they're calling this a scamdemic. More than 200,000 complaints have been filed, mostly from, mostly about imposters who want information and money. Crooks, pretending to represent just about any company or agency. Amazon. And they needed my number and... And what I said to them is, I don't have an Amazon account. Utility companies. They had the same background music that Excel does. Tech companies. So I played their game. Even COVID-19 contact tracers. They keep getting more and more clever in an evil sort of way. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser tells the Fox 31 problem solvers, imposter scams are the most common among those reported in our state. And imposter scams will play on your hopes or they'll play on your fears. When they hear the IRS or the local sheriff, they get afraid. And they're often then gonna think they have to let people know, oh, here's my social security number. And once they've done that, they've compromised themselves and they're now vulnerable to identity theft. One of the latest is the jury duty scam, where callers say you didn't show up to serve, so you need to pay a fine. And people are worried about missing information during the pandemic. So if you get a call from the local juror, association saying we need you to come serve can you say excuse me i'd like to call back to make sure this is the real denver court if they say no that's a telltale sign more tweets like this one warning of an imposter posing as a law enforcement officer are becoming more common sometimes people will spoof a number and it looks like they're calling from the local sheriff's office wiser warns against ever providing social security or bank account numbers to anyone over the phone let unfamiliar calls go to voicemail don't do it any legitimate governmental entity will take a check in the mail but before you send that check check the claims out with the agency yourself be on the lookout for things that don't quite sound right by the way if you get contacted by a covid tracker you can tell that you're talking to a legitimate person who actually is working for the health department because they will never ask for financial information the attorney general's office tells the problem solvers they're working with the ftc and the colorado bureau of investigation to crack down on these scams but reporting them is the first step we have a link set up on our website kdbr.com click on this story live in denver shawl turner fox 31. Now. Chief Meteorologist Dave Frazier with Colorado's most...